In this video, we are gonna be working on some super cheap free modifications to the Red Cat Everest 10 suspension to improve how this crawler handles. Welcome folks, my name is Troy. This is Roadside RC. On the channel, you'll find me doing everything from crawling and bashing and drifting and racing, plus product review videos and how to's. On the workbench today is my Red Cat Everest 10, actually sent to me by a loyal viewer. Really appreciate it, very exciting there. Um, I've done the first drive, have gone out and tested it. And the first thing that we noticed was there's a little bit of tendency of the truck to fall over side hilling uh, to fall over backwards as it's going uphill some of that's due to high center of gravity and some other things we're gonna work on a couple basically free or very very cheap modifications to the suspension in order to help that um, part of that is going to involve a whole bunch of random pens that I found laying around uh, my house plus a couple slight bent links that I have left over from an old project, plus some shock keys so that we can relocate how these shocks mount. This plus a couple other little tips and tricks should really improve the performance of this truck. All right, now if we're gonna be doing this, we need to be actually be able to show a difference in the side hilling and the vertical climbing capability of the truck. So what I've done here is I have used a piece of metal to mount my magnetic angle finder truck is sitting on the workbench then all we do is raise this up until the see the truck tip all right that is 40 degrees we got our 3s lipo in it that's 45 degrees that is 50 degrees Ooh, it's getting it's getting light you can see it 55 55 degrees same thing in the vertical direction here we go straight up and over there's 50 55 60 65 at what point does it tip 70 i'm going to make sure my end is in here nice and tight up against the tires 70 degrees 75 oh that's really good oh oh i got a tire lifting just shy of 80. the last thing we're going to look at is articulation so i'm going to pick this one wheel up and i am going to see at what height does the front tire come off the ground so it's right about there to the outside is seven and a half inches if we do the same thing on the front right up about six and a half inches on the first thing we're going to look at is taking off all four of these shocks and we're going to do what is commonly known to as the pen spring mod you take the shocks apart you take these pins apart you take the spring that's in them and you put them on the inside of the shock in order to help soften up this total shock and bring it down a little bit helps lower the total center of gravity on the truck here we are i took both of these are the rear shocks took them off shock here shock disassembled here and you can see what i did when you take the shock cap off you take the spring and the perch off unscrew using your shock pliers something like these dynamite shock pliers using those hold onto the shock rod unscrew the end and then the rod and the piston will all come out the top just like that very very easy so what i'm going to be doing here is i'm going to be putting this spring sliding it over that shaft that way what you have then is that then allow, does not allow the piston to travel all the way down into the shock bore as easily as it did without that being there. It does two things. One, it'll tend to make the shock sit more in the middle instead of being at the full expansion, which means the whole truck will actually have a lower ride height. Um, plus it actually, since it's working against this spring, it'll actually in essence soften the uh, total spring rate of the shock assembly. 
I am going to be putting one spring per shock, just like you see here. There are some folks that will actually end up doing a two spring per shock situation and really providing some preload in it. There are some other folks that put a spacer and then the spring in here in order to help adjust that. These are all things that you can do to continually tweak the shock for very, very minimal cost. Filled back up with oil of your choice and you can actually see the difference right here. This is the non-modified spring. Here is the modified spring with one pen spring in it. So just a little bit shorter there, right? About a little over a quarter inch. What is that looking like? A little over 10 millimeters different. Both rears are now done. Definitely sets the truck down just that little bit that we talked about, right? Just a little bit. We're not looking for big changes here. Just a little change here at first. Uh, as I do the front, you can see I'm already starting to take front off here. The other thing we're looking at is the rear control arms on the bottom here are curved, which is really, really good for clearance. When you look at the front control arms, bone straight, absolutely, completely straight. Um, but you can get another pair of the rears from Red Cat for a very cheap amount of money. For some reason, I actually happen to have a pair that look exactly like Red Cat bent links, except they're just silver instead of this uh, kind of more bronze color. And so as I take these front shocks off, I'm going to be swapping these over. That just helps provide that little bit more clearance so that you don't get hung up on the rocks with those links. All four shocks, single pen mod now done. Already we've lowered the center chassis of this vehicle almost a half inch, just with that being done on all four corners. Now it's time to relocate the upper shocks with the shock mounts. My goal with these shock keys, which are, are quite nice, and I'll provide you a link down below to where you can purchase them. They're quite nice and they're quite cheap. My goal with these on the front is going to be to assemble them something like this to actually help move that front shock outward more. That is going to help a little bit st stabilize the front suspension on this vehicle. The other thing I want to do with it is I want to raise where that front shock is actually mounted. Again, that's going to just help lower this whole center chassis where all the weight is. The kit does not come with any kind of hardware, so you will be reusing the hardware you have here, but you're also going to need to find a couple more sets of uh, bolts plus nuts in order to mount them appropriately. Wow, now that... <laughs> That is a pretty big difference there side to side. Check that out. Look at how much that shock is pushed forward, how much it is up. That is a big deal. So it is time we're going to do it for this other side and see how much it drops that total down. After going back and forth and testing it a little bit, I ended up putting the shock keys in the same orientation, both front and rear. You can see it has dropped this chassis down so much. I can't even hardly get my fingers in underneath it right now. Um, if you do get these shock keys, you can see the shock is in the outermost hole and it is in the two holes provided on the chassis from the factory one hole in each one of here you can see that detail there of where those are mounted for me this is actually quite fun now you look at that truck that truck looks just mean with how low it is but what's kind of funny is i can't actually get the body down into the holes that it was previously already as low as because in the factory holes these shocks are currently hitting the body so what i'm I'm going to do because it's going to look cool is i'm going to come up here and actually cut out where that shock will go through the body and then we can continue to drop this body down further and further and really get that just laying just super low and make this truck look very very mean so look at this i got the holes cut the shocks are poking out of the back of the bed that actually to me looks pretty cool noticing that the front still clear everything when it comes to the body the rear was hitting the rear corner of this cab even before I did this um, so it needed to be cut off and trimmed a little bit anyway but I am going to wait because I want to put different wheels on here that I want to try to space out even more if possible and I'm hoping if I do that it'll just clear this body and I won't need to trim it now to prove to see if our work was worth it this angle right here, this truck flipped over at 55 degrees the first time. 
And so here we are. There is 45. There is 50. Okay, there is 55. So that's the angle that it flipped over at before. Now we're going to go. Oh, it's getting light. It's getting light at 60. Oh, 60 degrees. So we gained five degrees on the side hill. This is going to be hard to beat. On the on before, it was 75 degrees when it tipped over. So we're going to go straight up there. We are at 70. We're at 75. Oh my gosh, that's 80 degrees. That's 80 degrees, and that truck is sitting dead up. Look at that, 80, 80 degrees. What is it going to do? What is it going to do? 85 degrees, 85 degrees, and it balances. Oh, man. Now, lastly, we should have actually also reduced total flex a little bit, which honestly for this truck is a good thing. So let's see. We had seven and a half inches before the front tire came off before, and we are now at four significantly down we were at six and a half for the front and we are at four also so we're symmetrical front and rear now which is nice but yeah we lost a lot of total flex but i tell you what i bet this truck is going to do a lot better out on the crawler course we should get out there and give it a shot
So there we go. That is one incredibly mean looking Red Cat Everest 10. Again, one of the most budget oriented RC crawlers that you can get out there. And we did almost free stuff to it and have drastically changed how this truck drives. Really, really, really awesome. I am excited. I can't believe how good this thing looks. Red Cat, why don't you just make it like this straight out of the box? Call it a Everest 10 Pro or something. Just do this to it? Oh my gosh, that would be so awesome. Think about it, guys. Think about it, Red Cat, you should do this. I have some more stuff that I want to do to this truck, some more things out there that I want to make this truck do even better yet. So we gotta get out there, do some more testing, get some more parts in, get some more videos going. So while I work on that, please come over here and check out some other videos that I've already made, and we will see you in the next one. So thank you, and goodbye.